Hi everyone, been a while. Uh, been a busy man, so I haven't been able to get many videos out recently, but season's up and running. We got chicks. Um, yeah, a few, few little um, hiccups on the way to, to, get start, to get started. I thought these are two cocks. Um, did have one of them paired with this lovely intensive um, cock bird. Um, yeah, and uh, obviously, yeah, they were squabbling a lot, so it, it, it became obvious. So yeah, unfortunately we got two spare non-intensive coppers. They're really nice birds as well. I'd have liked to have uh, maybe got some out of, out of them, but is what it is. Um, so this pair, the, the non-intensive hen and the, the, the red black cross cock bird. Now this is the pair that I really wanted to um, see, well, see what come out of them. Um, Obviously, it's been a it's been a couple of years. Obviously, to get this one, obviously we had to cross the red factor with the hen, which I still got. There she is, the red black. Um, to get this to cross, and then black back to the clear red again. And the chicks, they've only had two, but they've come out absolutely lovely. Um, it's quite a heavily heavy variegated one there and just one which is ticked, which you might just see there. They're really nice birds, really nice. Shame there's only two. Um, so yes, the, the, the sec her second round, um, I ended up taking them. And the reason for that was um, probably might put the nest pan in, the next nest pan in a little bit early. Um, the chicks were sort of sitting in a nest. Um, so yeah, I did put a divider in. I, I didn't really see the cockbird or the hen feeding them through the wire. So I was a little bit worried. So um, yeah, I thought, you know what? I'll just take the eggs. And they have gone straight in with this mule pair. So he's still not ready yet to be um, filling eggs anyway. So it gives her a round so, and they're full. So that'd be good. Um, and she's building up again now anyway, so happy days. Um, did end up keeping one red back pair. Um, that was the only pair that I um, took to the sale, which didn't go. Um, everything else went um, apart from that pair. So um, I thought, well, I'll just keep them. I might have a round out of them or use, use her as feeders. I mean, they're, they're nice birds, the red blacks. Not my most favorite but yeah so we, we still got that pair and also with I kept one of the five cross feeders from last year um, and because obviously she, she had come in handy um, so that's last year's um, and obviously I had the spare intensive red so I thought well I might as well use him so he's gone with that five cross and um, I got four chicks in there, stunning little chicks. Um, got a nice little uh, variegated there and a couple of clears. But um, yeah, they make good feeders. Um, so yeah, really happy with them. So that's, um, yeah, we got six chicks at the moment. So obviously, good start. Um, just the same, same scenarios at the top. They started to sit in her nest pan and all that. So separate it off, um, left the cock bird in. So hopefully uh, you keep feeding the chicks, but you can see the chicks there, they're calling for the mum. So hopefully she will feed them through the wire. Um, yeah, so red poles, nothing as of yet. I ended up putting them in my bigger flight. Um, so we got a hen um, last year, which the cockbird that I had didn't fill her eggs, which was a shame. So um, obviously one of my previous videos up not been last year, I said a friend give me a pair of um, poles. One's like a 
I, know, I can't remember what you call them now. Is it um, cinnamon or brown or something? So I can get her to move. Yeah, stunning little bird. So, and the cock bird, he split for something. I can't really remember what it is, but if we get anything at all out of them, that'd be really good. Um, yeah, as I said, the mule pair, she's got um, some eggs, uh, which I took from behind me. Um, this mule pair, um, uh, she she did go down. I thought it might have been a bit too early for the uh, the cock to fill the, the finch to fill the eggs, which was the case. Um, yeah, so no rush with them. I'll, I'll let them go again. Give her. A, I've only just took them away, so I'll give her a, a week or, or so, and then um, we'll try again. Um, the old dandelions are they're here now, so um, I got the kids. Um, we've gone over the field and picked loads of heads. So, um, yeah, the British finches are straight into them. So, um, I, I'm pretty sure they uh, they help um, bring them into condition as well. So, yeah, hopefully we'll get some um, finches filling eggs soon. Um, uh, one of my other intensive copbirds I kept from last year. A little bit slender, this one. But nice colour on him. He's got a bit of, I think he's, what you class that as ticked. He's got a little bit of marking on one of the uh, the flight feathers. And um, you, you all might remember this hen um, a couple of years ago now. She got her foot caught up in the flight. So I come home and yeah, she was hanging there. So unfortunately that, that had to um, come off that foot. But yeah, she's, I think what, she's three years old now. And, brilliant little hen so i just kept her um not the best quality but i'll probably let her have a round and then again she'll uh, feed feed for me or whatever um another hen i kept from last year now this this little intensive um hen um i didn't actually breed anything out of her last year um i did have her um paired to a um a goldfinch um but yeah you, I, i'm pretty sure they were bonded you, you didn't you wouldn't fill in the eggs don't know whether it's her or him i'm not too sure but i thought well i'll keep her um really only because she's the only intensive hen i got so and um one of my cock birds i bred last year at the italian birds from that skirati um, nice, nice cockbird that. Very similar to the two that I got up here. Um, so yeah, but yeah, she she has laid a couple of eggs and yeah, just I got a feeling I ain't gonna get nothing out of this one. But um, she just don't really want to sit on them. So whether I just take the eggs away, I'm not too sure yet. But we'll see. I could have possibly put them under this one here, but well, we'll give her. We we'll give her um, a bit of time, see if she sits them. Um, but yeah, good start. Um, yeah, obviously Sunday, I've just had a little sort of change the bedding and stuff like that. Um, I am starting to think I probably might have made a mistake with the wire cages. Um, obviously this time of year, cleaning out is a bit more tricky because you've got chicks and all that. And yeah, I find with these wire cages, you get muck in sort of little awkward places you sort of struggle to get to with sort of normal plastic or wooden cages. So yeah, well, it is what it is now. I've got them now, so um, I'll probably keep them for a few years anyway. I've had these ones for a few years, but they're starting to look a little bit tatty now. Um, but yeah, they do the job. So yeah, really impressed with these two birds. Um, definitely be keeping these. Like I said, that's out of the red black cross. Red blacks I got from um, Peter Finn. Was it last year? Or the year, year before, sorry. Um, at Stafford, so. Yeah. Stunning. Um, yeah, I won't be breeding too many this year. Sometimes it's. Yeah, it's, well, it's, like I said before, it's a small room and gets a bit overcrowded and then it's. Sorry to keep on top of cleaning and stuff so 
Um, I don't know, I can't remember what I bred last year now. Was it something like 30 birds or something like that? If I get somewhere around now or 20, it'll probably do me nicely. Um, we'll, we'll see how we get on. So, um, yeah, I'll probably do another update. Hopefully when I got something going on with the, the, uh, the mule pairs or the uh, poles.